Hi, my name is Amanda Larson. I'm the author of Gut, which was published by Amidon Publishing in December of 2021. I'm going to be reading the first page of the book. When I return, the sun hooks my flesh and raises it, exposes me like a cowhide rug. The oaks of campus engulf me in their strong, hairless arms. I do not know what could be called joy, if it is this movement or anything else. Signing a book I bought, a poet asks, where are we? And I say, I have no idea. We are in California somewhere, the shadow of the palms blanketing our bloated flesh. There is no word in English for the sensation of water covering your being, of the loss of gravity experienced when immersed, a nerve ending, reversal. I've discovered this sensation could occur just by covering one's mouth with another. I've discovered that this could happen for years. Men would lift me by the chest as a child and the vertebrae would crack into place upon the removal of my own weight. We did this together for years. If there is a condition of being used, it is in the muteness that follows the crack, in the humming that remains. A piece called the Angel of Progress warns of calling this spring a moment of ending, of calling it anything other than what it is. I wish to question a singular monolithic term organized around a binary axis of time rather than power. There's a danger here of premature celebration that the language I use is empty appearance. You could say that about the terms recovered, recovery. You could say that about a lot of things. Like when I say my body, as if it is not work to believe the use of the possessive. It itches recovery, the implication that something was lost. I maintain no desire to be the person I was before abroad, the person who allowed those things to happen to me. The only poems I wrote in the fall, when those things happened to me, one of wanting to be murdered, one of the desire to deny pleasure, given that I was so starved for it and took what I could get. Thank you.